two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. What's on tap podcast with Stefan and Martin. I'm very excited about uh, being here this evening. How's it going? It's good. I'm back. You are. I, think, I don't think you see you're back anymore. It's almost like you just haven't left yet. Yeah, I, I just came to this podcast and just ref- refused to leave. Yeah, I, that's, you, you've, you're holding me hostage. I, I, Actually, I, I've been trying to escape for weeks now, but Martin's just like, let's just podcast one more episode. I'm like, please don't make me podcast anymore. He's like, just one more episode. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Yeah, he has to do it. Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. It's like, Martin, <laughs> Martin, quit tucking. Put, put your clothes back on. Stop. Anyway, uh, we've got two beers tonight, and I'm quite excited to try them. Um, Beers? Yes. It's hard to say, because these are the most colorful beers. One is pink, and one is green. Yes. Um, And the pink beer is called Pear Bear, and the green beer is called Way Way Green Double IPA. Um. Oddly enough, neither one of these are collaboration, which is huh. kind of interesting because... Wait, that's not true. Uh, it says microphone brew uh, on oh, the Way Way Green. Ding. Oh, it's right there. Right, sorry, it's a big label. Yes. I didn't see it. it. There's not one on here, though. No. So, um, so Pear Bear seems to be original brewski. Right. So we're going to do Pear Bear first, which is the pink one. And uh, these are both brewski beers. Uh, this comes in at 4.9% ABV. Uh, only real fruit inside. It says, Pear Bear, this could be an amazing computer, uh, i got some light here, um, amazing computer, FPS, gamer, first person shooter gamer, that will destroy you in a second or, Jesus Christ, a graph? What's a graph? Let, let me take it. Shut up. A beer with an insane amount of pears topped with some raspberries and passion fruit. As we are all about beer, you figure it out. When this is served chilled, the fruity flavors could easily remind you of a sorbet ice cream accompanied by a dash of blue sky and a splash of sunshine. AKA, magic moment in a bottle, enjoy. Wow. One second, don't be all crazy here. I want the bottle. Uh, Baby wants the bottle. Yep, okay. Yeah. So there's lactose in here. It's uh, pears. I have no idea what a graph is. G-R-A-F, graph. All right. I didn't make it up. I thought you did. The the smell is really interesting. It, it does not smell like a, a, a sherbet. It smells very much like a sherbet. Like a... Um... Aren't you impressed that I know the English word for sorbet? Sorbet. Well, sor- sherbet. Sherbet. <laughs> sorbet and sherbet are not the same, I don't think. I think they're what? Different. I think they're different things. I think they're but it's it smells good yeah it's a little raspberry on the nose it's not huge raspberry but i've started getting into the place where a huge raspberry presence will decrease the beer for me yeah uh, i'm uh, kind of in that that way that I'm same place kind of over the 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 sticky uh aggressive raspberry so the problem is pears are so subtle and like yeah. for me to eat a pear is not really I don't go, mmm, that's one flavorful pear. Like, I don't really know what a pear, I mean, I've eaten many pears, but I, if like someone was just like, describe a pear, you'd be like, sweet and juicy yeah. and like caramelly sugar almost. Yeah. Uh, but like, like a strawberry is a strawberry or it does smell raspberries a little... are raspberries. I don't really know what how much your pear flavor or what I would expect that to in, be. In Sweden, we have a traditional nostalgia ice cream called Pigelin, mm-hmm. which is a green... It, it, it's, it's very it, child-friendly it, kind it's, of... Uh, some people say that it's pear flavored. Some people say that it's tutti frutti flavored. Mm-hmm. Which uh, is actually one and the same. There's really no difference. Yeah, but there are no pears involved in the making of Pigelin. It's only esters, chemical yeah. esters. But that's what I think of when I think of pear. And it, this smells a little bit like it. Can kind of go with that. If, if it sm- tastes anything like pigolin, I will love it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, 
What do you think? Piglin? It's kind of like a raspberry piglin. Yeah. It's very sweet. Very candy. I mean, extremely candy. I think the lactose aids, aids in that. Yeah. Um, this is really good. Yeah, this is exceptional. This is... I think it's going to be one of my go-to summertime beers. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the shelf. It's easy to access. Um, I did not have high hopes for this. But again, it's like, what, 4%, 4.9%? Very easy to drink. On a hot summer day, one of these, I think, would go very, very far. Yeah. So the, the picture is a bear dressed as a pear mm -hmm. holding raspberries and passion, passion fruit. fruit. So that's probably... Um, the ingredients. Yes, it is. It doesn't say. It says raspberries, passion fruit. It does. You even read it. I did. <laughs> With lactose. Yes. Now, this is surprisingly good. I did not know what to expect on this. Hmm. And when I poured it, the color was not what I was expecting. No, no, no. From a pear? Mm hmm. And it's pink. But it just, you definitely get this really. Strong raspberry nose, but the flavor is just pretty really light and pleasant and fruity. Yeah, I I think this is really, really good. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Me too. All right, so what would you rate this? I'm torn between two ratings. Four or 4.25. Surprisingly, I am too. But I haven't I think... decided yet. I think I'm going to go with a four. Because if I'm torn between the two, it means I'm probably going four and just yeah, not for, willing to commit. For me, it, I need to try more of it. And maybe I need to try the other beer to get a contrast. Well, the other beer is quite different because it's way, way green. That's good. And that's not just in the description. That's also the title. But this is literally way, way green. Oh, there is one thing I want to note here. So it says, uh, best before... On the uh, Pear Bear, it is 1405-2020, and then it says B1 Hannah. What? So you think Hannah is the woman that works for uh, Brewski? Yeah, probably. I mean, they've always included stuff in their batch numbers. Right. But then when you look at Weiwei Wei Green, it's 1909-2020, B3, Flubber. Flubber. Yeah. Yeah. What's that about? It, flubber. It's flubber. the, it's the well, substance that uh, you bounce and you yeah, can fly know. and stuff. And if you look at this, it, it's so green. This might this is the greenest beer I've ever seen in my life. It is like a hazy green. I, I don't even know how to describe this. No, but, but, um, but when it comes to Brewski's uh, batch uh, comments, I think they're just inside jokes. Probably, yeah. How would you describe this um, aroma? Like no, the color. Like, what color, what kind of green is that? Like, cartoon lime green, maybe? I mean, it's hazy, so, but it's so, so solidly green. It's lime green. It is lime green. Yeah. All right. Too green, too lush, too fresh, or too much cabbage? Too far away from the green, green grass of home? Green Sally up or Green Sally down. Peaceful sunlight through green leaves in the spring or green with envy and poison. Naive, eco-friendly, sickening, new, fresh. This is hoppy, fruity, green double IPA with mango and lime in your hand. Find out what green can be. 8% ABV. Mango. Double IPA with mango and lime. I definitely get lime on this. Smells uh, dried coriander. <laughs> You know, now it's just cabbage on the label. I smell a little cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a lot of lime off of this. Like, yeah, sure. Like yeah, fresh I lime do. zest. I do as well. Almost in a furnishy, furnish, furniture polish kind of. Oh wow! Kind of smell. Maybe. Like you're getting the 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 oils of the of the zest in there. Yeah. All right. Well, cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's a tough one. A lot of lime. Um, lime zest. More than lime juice. 
Yeah, it's lime zest, but like a little bit of the pith, the white part of the. After you scrape off the. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. The zest, maybe. There's, like, there's a little bit of limey bitterness to it. This is this is a really tough beer because I'm not getting that mangoiness of it. The color is really screwing with my mind. So it's almost like you have to close your eyes and taste it so you can kind of experience what the beer is. Yeah. Because the color is not. It skews your, I think, opinion and impression of it. It, it has a negative bitterness that I would associate with uh, the white stuff in a lime mm -hmm. or an orange or a lemon that becomes too bitter. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of that citrus bitterness to it. Of, it's a, of it all. a dry bitterness. Does yeah. that make sense? I think that's where the pith part yeah. comes yeah. from. Um, so this is not the better of the two beers on the table. Oh, no, not, not by far. I think it's still interesting. Yeah. I think it's still good. There's a bit of the... This finish is so dry and so clean. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I mean, you get this really strong lime citrus up front. I don't get a lot of the mango on this. No, no mango. Um, but the, the finish is just brutal i mean it just drops yeah and just is so dry and clean and um i I'm really not... get this limey essence to it yeah i i in secret went back and tried the pear bear mm -hmm. and now i'm ready to raise it to 4.25 okay i needed i needed something to contrast yeah. it with well i think this is definitely a contrast yeah and some beers when you try them, them in a movie, this is where you hear a record scratch and you, you hear a narrator voice saying, how did I end up in this position, you ask? Well, that's a long story. And then you got to the actual start I mean, of the movie. Got, you, got, you got the line, you got the hops from the, the pear bear. It became yellow. Yeah. But then you mix it with the, um, sorry, with the way, way too green, but then you mix it with the uh, the raspberry and the passion fruit and pears. I think together, I did not it's, like the mixture. It's really good. I did not like the mixture, but I do enjoy you making a yellow beer when we have a pink, reddish, and a green one. You made a traffic light. I um, have a special set of skills. Yeah, blending of beers. Yeah. You're a master blender. No, don't say that. Um. Yeah, so way, way green, I did not know what to expect. I certainly did not expect it to be oof, I expected intensely it, I, green. I expected it to be this green. Did you? Yes. All right, well, it looks like somebody just melted a lime popsicle, but it doesn't taste like that. It's way too hoppy. I think this is the fourth green beer I've had. Yeah? And they all kind of land in this weird... I think mentally it's hard for you to no 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 to bring the two together. No, uh, I've I've been a fan of green beers since the first green beer since your first St. Patrick's Day. All oh, right, those don't count. Okay, that's just food coloring. All right, it doesn't taste anything. Uh, I'm giving this a three point five. Yeah, I'm I'm right there with you. I think three point five is a. But I have this. increased the pear bear to four point twenty five now. I'm not going to up my uh, my my other review. I'm locking that in. But did I you, think this did, is a. Did you try it directly after the way way green? I did mix them together. It, no, mixing together does not count. That that's not the same thing. Uh, having the way way green, which has this dry bitterness mm -hmm. that's almost nasty, uh, and then the sweet and tarty tangy mm -hmm. pear bear afterwards, it really lifts it. Yeah, I, I see mini pear bears in my future. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you. I think if the summer, if we have a summer this year like we did last year, pear bear is going to be like the beer of the summer. It's yes. going to be sweet and enjoyable and tart and fruity. And at 4.9%, you're not going to have to worry about just getting like hammered off exactly. of them. Um, I really, really enjoy that. Uh, whereas the Way Way Green. Uh, I feel more one and done. I don't think I need to revisit this anytime soon. 
uh, especially at 8%. That's a pretty high ABV for you to... It does hide the just, alcohol. Yeah, no, it, it does not taste 8% at all. It, it hides it very well. It's, 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 a very, it's a very nice beer, but it just doesn't really hit a spot, you no. know? No, I agree. Ironically, I think if it was more lime, I probably enjoyed it more. Yeah. Uh, more of the fresh lime juice. Yes. But I feel like the too much of the zest and the pith and the oils are in here that it kind of turns it a little bit. Uh, so that's why I, I feel that uh, it's good, but there's a bit of a miss here. Yeah. All right. So you can find us online at what's on tap podcast.com, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, iTunes. Anywhere where fine podcasts are sent out. Exactly. So, till next time. Bye.